Hello guys, here is Shuli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you a very simple recipe of spring onion and I am going to make it with chickpea lentils. It's very simple and very yummy recipe with especially roti and chapati. You may enjoy it with boiled rice as well. It will be equally delicious with dal chawal. So guys, let's see the recipe. I took 1 cup of chickpea lentils and soaked them for overnight and now they are very nicely soft as you can see. And now I wash them properly. You can change the quantity of chickpea lentils, there is no problem according to your needs. And here I have taken a big size tomato finely chopped. Some garlic cloves roughly chopped. I didn't chop them very finely. And some green chilies finely chopped according to taste. And here I have taken some spring onion, that means green onion. I took one bundle of green onion and chopped them like this. And after that, I washed them properly. And for draining water nicely, I have kept them in a strainer. So now we need to add some cooking oil in the pan. I am adding two spoons of cooking oil. We need to wait for some time until the oil is heated well. And after that, we need to add some tadka. So at first I am adding half teaspoon of cumin seeds, half teaspoon of mustard seeds. You may add two bay leaves also but I am not adding. And now I am going to add some asafoetida, one pinch of asafoetida I am adding. And now I am going to add the garlic cloves, roughly chopped. After adding garlic we don't need to wait for a long time. We don't need to let them burn. So after about 10 to 15 seconds of adding the garlic cloves, we need to add the tomatoes. So now I'm going to add the tomatoes. After adding tomatoes, we need to add some salt and some spices. I'm making a simple stir fry of this vegetable, but you may make it spicy. I'm adding some salt according to taste and a half teaspoon of turmeric powder. You may add some more spices along with this such as coriander powder, cumin seeds powder, garam masala and some more as you like. But I am making a simple stir fry so I am not adding them. I am just adding some chopped green chilies according to taste. And now we need to add the chickpea lentils. And after that we need to mix everything very nicely and cover the pan for some time on medium to low heat. So everything is mixed well. Now I am going to cover the pan for some time until the tomatoes are soft and the chickpea lentils are cooked about 50%. And now it's ready for adding the green onions. I am checking the lentils and it's slightly crunchy. So now I am going to add the green onions. My pan is not so big so I need to be careful while adding them. Now I am adding the rest. And after adding the green onions, I am going to cover the pan directly on medium to low heat for about 2 minutes. And after that, the green onions will be a little soggy and it will be easy to mix. So now I am mixing everything nicely again. And after that, I am going to cover the pan again. Until the chickpea lentils are cooked very well and also the green onions. It will take about 5 to 6 minutes to cook. So I am covering the pan for about 5 minutes and after 5 minutes this is the texture of the curry, uh, the stir fry. The lentils are nicely cooked now and the green onions are also perfectly cooked. I am showing you while checking. So guys you can see that the lentils are perfectly cooked. So you may add some fresh coriander leaves if you want. But I am not adding them. My stir fry is ready. So I am turning the heat off and serving the stir fry hot. So guys our simple and delicious green onion stir fry is ready. It's super delicious with roti and chapati and you may enjoy it with dal chawal as well. It's super delicious with it also. So guys try this simple recipe and don't forget to share your experience with me. Hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.